My name is Roger Coles, and today I'm going to show you how you can create custom shadows and custom wavy text in Canva. Let's get into it. Now, if you're a longtime user of Canva, then you know that you can add shadows to images. You do that by adding in your image, going to edit image, scrolling down under the shadows tab, click on something like drop shadow. And if you click on it again, then you can edit the settings within. That's really, really great. But what if you wanted to add a shadow to something like an iPhone frame or one of the other frames or grids that you see within Canva? Well, today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to do that. This is what we're going to recreate right here. We've got this awesome iPhone frame. You can see it's literally just one of those that you would drag and drop your photo into. So we're going to recreate what I've got here with this shadow. And to do that, we'll start with our regular iPhone frame. Go to the Elements tab and look for an element or shape that's similar to the frame that we want to create a shadow for. So in this case, I'm going to use this rounded rectangle and I'm going to resize it to the same size as the phone. I'm going to copy that and add that to a new canvas. And since this is going to be a shadow, I'm going to darken it just a little bit. So there we go. And now we download it as a PNG with a transparent background. Find that download in your downloads folder and drag and drop that into the uploads tab. And now we'll come back to where our phone is. And we're going to just click on it one time and it will automatically bring in our new layer that we just exported. So we'll resize that and crop it from the edges so that it doesn't automatically fill and replace the background. And from here with the image selected, go to edit image and under adjustments, click see all and go to blur. And we're just going to bring that up to maybe around 70 something percent. That looks pretty good. And we'll position that backward. Now we can move that around to offset it. And if it still feels a little unnatural, then you can bring down the transparency just a little bit. I think somewhere around there is pretty good. So now we have this little bit of separation between the phone and the background, and we've got this really cool realistic shadow that you're able to create. The reason that I'm doing it this way is because if I were to try to apply a shadow to the image that's inside of the frame, this is what happens. You click on the image, click on edit image, and scroll down to shadows, go to drop shadow, and you can see it's only applying the shadow effect to the image that's inside of the frame, but that's not what we want. We want the shadow on the outside behind the frame. Here's another example of a frame that we're going to add a shadow to. This is just a really cool art shape, and this is what we're gonna recreate. So down here, I've got our frame, and I've got a shape that's similar to what I want to recreate with this frame. And I'm going to do the same process here with downloading it as a PNG with a transparent background. And we'll bring that in by clicking and dragging. Head back up to our frame. And I'm going to click on that to bring it into the canvas. And resize it. And crop it. And I don't crop too far because I'm not sure yet how much of the blur is going to take up. And if you bring it in too far, then you're going to have lines on the top and the sides of your shadow. So don't crop it too close until after you've seen where the blur is gonna go. So with that selected, we'll click edit image, go to see all, go to blur, bring it up, that looks good. And then we'll position that backwards. And this one I'm gonna resize just to make it a little bit smaller, something like that. And then bring down the transparency to somewhere around maybe 50 something percent. Now that I know where the blur is, I can crop this without worrying about cutting it off. So just be mindful that you don't accidentally chop out some of the blur. So that's how you can create custom shadows. Now I'm going to show you how you can create custom wavy text in Canva. So here we've got the text that I want to make into a wavy wobbly deal. And same technique as earlier. We're going to download that as a PNG with a transparent background. Download that bad boy. And then we'll bring that in to our uploads tab here. And we've got an image behind here that we want to add our text to. So I'll just click on the text and resize it. You know the deal. Crop it. And with that selected, click on Edit Image. And then we're going to scroll down to a cool effect called Liquify. And click on See All. And here we've got Wobble. So we'll click on Wobble. And immediately you can see that it distorts the text. But if you click on that setting again, 
Then here you can adjust the amount of the wobbity wobbity and the size. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on that R in great to make sure it doesn't get too wonky. And that looks pretty good. So we'll click apply. And now that the effect is applied, we can crop this, bring it down. So now that the text is nice and wavy, if you want to add in some other effects to your image, like some grunge or a texture, then go to elements and we'll search for grainy. And this is a pro element here, but I'm going to bring this in. We'll resize it to the width of the canvas, adjust the transparency, bring it down to maybe like 10 or so. 11 is good. And then I'm going to position that to the back. And then you'll notice that as soon as I click off of this image, it's going to replace the background. Ew, why? But if that happens, don't worry. Just Command-Z, undo it. Now you can see that you can move this around again. The other trick that you could try is to actually crop the image so that it's one pixel away from the edge. And now when you click off of it, you can see that it's easy to move that around. It's not really enough for someone to notice unless the colors were significantly different or you didn't bring the transparency down enough. So this looks pretty good and no one's going to notice. I promise. Or will they? So that's how you can create your own custom shadows and custom wavy text in Canva. If you found this helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more Canva tips coming your way. That's it for today. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.